I mentioned earlier in my presentation that the statutes do have warning sign posting requirements. Now the caveat to that is not every state has a warning sign posting requirement. So again, it's important to know wherever your client is conducting equine activities, or if you are the industry professional or even an amateur who has property with horses on it, know if your state statute requires the warning sign posting. Now I know these warning sign postings are they're aesthetically pleasing, right? If you have a burgundy and green barn, you're not gonna want this, this metal black and white sign on your barn, but I'm gonna tell you what you don't want more is a lawsuit that is successful against you because you failed to post your warning sign. So you are going to post these warning signs in a clearly visible location where equine activities are taking place. And I get asked all the time, well, what if the person that's injured said they didn't see the sign? I'm going to tell you that not one of these statutes in 47 states state that the participant must have seen, read, and understood the warning sign. It doesn't say that. All the statute says is that you must post this sign in a clearly visible location where equine activities are taking place. Those signs must have the language provided by the statute. You cannot draft these signs in a in different words. You cannot change the verbiage in any way because you think it writes better. They must be in one inch black letters. Again, you have your burgundy and green facility. You cannot have your letters in burgundy and green. If your state statute says one inch black letters.